All right, so one more example here, finding the equation for a hyperbola. And in this case, we're going to find the equation for the hyperbola that has vertices at negative 2, comma, negative 5, and positive 4, comma, negative 5. And the foci are going to be at negative 4, negative 5, and at 6, negative 5. So again, you don't have to do this at all. I always just like to make a little picture just to kind of help uh, orient myself and make some sense out of it. So let's see, we've got... Uh, so negative 2, negative 5, that's going to be one of our vertices. Um, the other uh, vertice is going to be at 1, 2, 3, positive 4, comma, negative 5. So let's see, uh, here's 4, comma, negative 5. And here's negative 2, comma, negative 5. Okay, um, at this point I know that my, uh, my hyperbola is going to be opening to the left and to the right. Okay, so already uh, I know I'm going to be filling in sort of this, uh, you know, again, depending on whether it opens to the left or the right, we either use x squared minus y squared equals 1 or y squared minus x squared equals 1. Obviously, you know, we've got to figure out the denominators as well. But to me, this is going to be that first form. We can write this more generically by saying it's x minus h squared over a squared minus well, y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. The value for h and k, that's going to be the point that's uh, where your asymptotes cross. Equivalently, it's going to be the point that's equidistant from your vertices. So to me, it looks like the point that would be equidistant from my vertices would be this point um, sitting here at positive 1 comma negative 5. And again, this is not a point on the graph at all of this hyperbola, but just, uh, just to help me uh, figure things out here a little bit. So if we go three units to the right, we would hit 4, negative 5. If we go three units to the left, we would hit negative 2, negative 5. So to me, that says my h, comma, k uh, point would be 1, comma, negative 5. All right, so our a value, our a value is going to be the distance that we move over from that, uh, that hk, it's going to be the distance we go from where the asymptotes cross to our vertices. So in this case, again, it looks like we've got a, a value of a equals 3 because we're moving over 3 units. So, okay, so far so good. Uh, the only thing really we have left to figure out is our b value. Remember this equation that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And remember, c represents the distance to the foci, okay, from your, from where the asymptotes cross, or you, from the center of this hyperbola. So the foci, we haven't, uh, we haven't put those in there yet, but one of our foci was over here at um, six comma negative five. The other one we said was at negative four comma negative five. So negative four comma negative five. So likewise, if I look at this distance. From, um, from my point 1, negative 5 to 6, negative 5, well, I would have to move over 5 units to get to that foci. So that tells me that my c value is going to be positive 5. Okay. So again, this distance from the center over to one of the foci, that would be a distance of positive 5. And now I think we're in business. We've got everything that we need. Uh, we can now deduce b by just filling in this equation. So it says we'll have 5 squared equals 3 squared plus um, b squared. Well, this is 25. This is 9. If we subtract 9 from both sides, we'll get 16 equals b squared. And if we solve for b, again, uh, we could take the square root. We're just going to keep the positive solution. So we're going to use our b value of 4. We figured out what a was. Um, we know what c is. Uh, we've got our point hk. Um, we really don't need the c part when we fill in the formula. But again, we needed it uh, to help us figure out our b value. So at this point, I think we can go ahead and fill in, uh, fill in our formula. So to me, when we fill in this formula, it says we're going to have x minus um, 1 squared over a squared, which will be 3 squared. 
minus, we'll take y minus k, but our k is negative 5, so we'll get y plus 5 squared over b squared equals 1. And now we've got the equation for our hyperbola. Again, you can always multiply it out. x minus 1 squared over 9 minus y plus 5 squared over 16 equals 1. And now that would be the hyperbola that uh, has the given vertices and the given foci.